What's up YouTube? Welcome to my video on how to use a FO38 leashy tool. This is hands down one of my favorite tools to use. The Ford door locks seem to be fairly easy to pick. So what is a leashy tool used for? I primarily use them for car lockouts and car key replacements. If a customer loses their car keys, this tool allows you to first pick the door lock and once the door lock is in the picked position and the wafers are set where they need to be, you are able to go through and use the reader on the side. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. You're able to use the reader on the side to then figure out the depth of each space in the key. So first, you gotta pick it. Second, you decode it. Third, you can make a key. Why would you use this over an airbag and a long reach tool for a car lockout? I personally think that it looks much more professional showing up to a car lockout job and picking the lock versus forcing the door jam open to stick a tool in there. There is much less risk on damaging the vehicle if I use this tool over the airbag and long reach tool. If you are a locksmith and you do car keys, this is a must-have tool. Obviously, you're going to need quite a few different ones in order to cover the majority of the vehicles. This one is specifically for Ford. Alright, so now I will show you how to use it. Okay, so step one, you are going to spray the inside of the lock with lubrication. Stick it into the keyhole. Spray it in there really good. Let it sit for 30 seconds or so. Next, you're going to want to take an H75 key blank and just run it through the door lock in and out like so. Just trying to break up any gunk that might be in there. Next, you are going to want to take your leashy tool and insert it into the door lock. I like to pull these little tabs back right here so I don't risk damaging the leashy tool. Get it in there nice and snug. Once it's inserted, you're going to begin applying light tension on this piece right here. And then you are going to begin going through each space and you want to feel for it to be stiff. If you, if you go up and you press up on it and it's springy, that means it's not ready to be picked. If you go to a space and you push up and it's stiff like so, then you're going to want to pick that one until it's springy. You're going to want to move on to the next one. Five needs to be picked. I usually start at the top, pick all the top ones, and then move down to the bottom. One is ready to be picked. Move down to two. Springy, good to go. Move on to four. Springy, that is good. Six is stiff. Let's pick it, and there we go. And just like that, you have picked the lock to this vehicle. Now the next step is to decode each space. To do so, you basically just take the needle and you go to the space and you push up. You'll feel it spring. You don't want to force it too far, but you do want to push it up past the spring. So it looks like space one is going to be a depth one. Move on to two. Pull the little needle down and it goes down to the depth two right there. So just sitting there, it is going to be a three, but you want to make sure you pull it down past the spring and you see it is a two. Moving on, let's go to three, push up. That one is kind of close. It could be a three, it could be a two. I'm going to go with a two on that one. Move on to four, pull it down, looks like it reads as a three, five is a one, six is a three, and seven or eight are not in the, lo uh, the door lock, they're actually in the ignition only. But with the six cuts, you can at least put them into your code source database, and it should be able to provide the possibilities for the last two spaces. So this vehicle actually uses an H92 transponder key. For the sake of the video, I'm actually only going to be cutting an H75 key blank instead. So I am going to slide that into my jaw, clamp it down, 
and then type in the code to the key which we got from the Lishi tool. It was one, two, two, three, one, three, and then I was able to get the other two cuts from lockcodes.com. It would be a two, three for seven and eight spaces. Once you have that typed in, I'm gonna shut the lid here. All you will then do is hit cut key. So I've got to say, I absolutely love this key cutting machine. This is my first automatic key cutting machine. It is an X-Horse Condor Mini Plus. I'm used to the HPC 1200 um, code cutting keys on that. It definitely was much more time consuming. I'd sit there and have to sort through the cards, trying to find the right one for the vehicle I'm working on. This one, I can vlog, I can talk to my customer, I can do whatever I want really. I can clean up the service van while I'm waiting for my key to be cut. But yeah, this machine is just really, really convenient. It's really convenient. I like it a lot. Okay, so the key for this Ford Focus is done being cut. I'm gonna unclamp it, take it out, and let's test it out. Let's see if she works. Works good. Thank you for watching my video on how to use this FO38 Leashy tool. Again, this is by far one of my favorite tools to use. If you are a locksmith and you are currently using an airbag and long reach tool to um, open up vehicles for your customers, I strongly suggest learning all these Leashy tools. You gotta get one for Fords, um, you gotta get the CY24 one for Chrysler, and the GM39, at the very least, get those three. Um, super easy to use, and your customer will be impressed when you unlock their vehicle with it. Be sure to like my video, comment if you have any questions, and please do subscribe. I have lots of more videos that I plan on making for you guys. Thank you, and have a good one.